Um, today I'm pretty much just gonna be talking about my camping trip that I did, that I had this weekend. I thought I just should talk about it because it was like a pretty, pretty good, it was a pretty good trip basically um so first of all i had this friend named chris and he he was kind of just a facebook friend and he's very adventurous like me and so he messaged me on like the week like a couple of days before camping and he was like oh do you want to come camping with us and i was like sure and he's like yeah we're gonna bring dirt bikes and stuff like that so i was like yeah yeah like hell yeah i'd like to go so on saturday i woke up and i thought we were gonna leave at 6 p.m but like Turns out we left like at noon or something. Um, so I had to like, I, I had to just like quickly pack and shit and I didn't really, I wasn't very prepared. And usually when I go out camping, I'm very prepared. Also concerning that I've never really, really met him. I'm probably not a great example. So this might not work in all situations. So don't just trust people, but still it did work for me. Um, so they came over to my house, picked me up. And so it was Chris and then two of his friends in the back. I got like, the front seat which I was like very confused about because usually I'm always in the back then we started heading heading east I believe and there was some mumbo jumbo in between that couple breaks ciggy breaks here and there and shit we were all just planning to get really fucked up so we went to this camping area place thing um I don't know what it's called I forgot what it's called but yeah I'm just gonna call it the spot so we were at the spot well before that we kind of picked up more of Kristen's friends and so there was a group of us all it was was kind of just like dirt and then trees and then if you like and right behind us is this like massive rock and by when I mean massive rock I mean like as big as a hill rock you know type thing and then so they were like testing out their dirt bikes and stuff like that unfortunately there was like a crash somewhere where like Chris and his best friend kind of just, and then Chris went like flying and shit like that, but he's all right. I mean, he hurt his leg and shit, and it sucks because that was like the first thing that really happened when we arrived, but every everyone was okay. They took me on a ride a couple times, and uh, like insanely fast, like I like, I'm an adrenaline junkie, so this shit was like cool for me. So I'm like freaking out like in the front of like dirt bike with like Chris behind me and I'm just like, ah, what the fuck? And I'm like so scared because we're going so fast, I can't even see, it's like tunnel vision, you know? Um, note that we're all pretty fucked up too. <laughs> and then so we also went on top of the, um, the rock thing, took a lot of good photos. If you have my Instagram, hallucinogens, where the L's are one one um do look at those photos because they are amazing photos and also when i'm having um, also when i make a new video collage those videos will be in it so you guys will probably tell what exactly it looked like i i'm not i i never script or plan my videos so this is this might be completely out of place and i might backtrack a bit but still so it was breathtaking it was beautiful it was amazing like what a beautiful country Australia is like even driving there. I was just so amazed by how beautiful it was and Then they had this like burnout car and they were just like riding it just dust everywhere like dust in our noses and dust on our face and But it was all right. Like I don't mind getting dirty. It's it's I like Hang on, Let me fix this necklace. Um, I like getting dirty. You know, it, it's fun. We're all drinking beer as well So we're all pretty pretty yeah, pretty fucked up later. At like some point, because note that this is hard to remember because I was so fucked up. I just remember going on multiple different rides in different cars, like testing out different cars and stuff. But it was really good. We did go up to the rock like a couple times, which was fucking awesome. You know, we had all the swags, like these like sleeping bags type thing, like just on the floor and we're just chilling there. At one point in the night, or like, no, like, Sun, like sunset we like went to this like abandoned house or something and there was this like fucking old TV and shit and it was just cool as fuck I got a really good photo there too of the boys but still it was just nice like like everything about the camping trip just like fit perfectly together and I was like completely comfortable with the people I was with because they're all just so like nice and friendly I mean they were like assholes sometimes but it was like a is like a friendly type asshole, you know, type thing. Um, but it was really, it was, it was really good. And towards the night, we were like driving around, and then suddenly I remember like stopping next to some other car, 
And then we all got out and we were talking to the people next to the other car with us and ended up being there for, I don't know, like 45 minutes. I can't even tell, I, I, I don't know. I just remember being in the car because I was really, really cold while everyone was socializing, but still, I don't really give a fuck because I was cold, you know? But I remember Chris took me outside just to like socialize a bit because apparently they were worried about me just because I was cold and I was inside. And then I see like dead foxes and like a dead rabbit like hung on the side of this like you or something. And I was like, there like, and I like, and they like made me touch it. And I was just like, like I, I understand hunting and shit like that, but I was just kind of freaked out because I was like, there are dead shit right in front of me and they're like foxes too and foxes are beautiful, you know? But um, it was all right. And then he made me hold his like massive gun, which is heavy as fuck. And I was just there like really fucked up. Like the fuck am I doing, you know? But it was really good. And then later on, after going on like multiple different rides in cars, like we, we went back to the site, to the spot, right? And then just like chilled on the swags, like on the sleeping bags. And I was getting tired. I was, I was pretty like tired in general. Um, just cause I like woke up really, I, I, I'm like an early, I'm an early person. So I wake up early in the morning, you know? And then, so I was just pretty knackered. And then, so I just, I just chilled with them and just ripped some billies. And then we all like kind of fell asleep. And we saw, we saw the sunrise and it was, it was so pretty. The sunrise was just like, hands down so pretty. So I was like sharing swag with someone and then it was like way too hot early in the day. So I just like slept in Chris's car. And then I woke up and like pretty much like half the people were gone, but still the people that I came with were there, you know? Cause fuck, I met so many people that night. I can't even remember who was there and who wasn't there, you know? And then anyways, we started, we, we headed back home later. The two people in the back seat fell asleep. So it was just me and Chris and we were just like talking about shit, talking about music and stuff. Oh, well, Chris's best friend, Kyle, he's like some weird genius as in he like, he's like the navigator he remembers where to go like if he's been there before he knows where to go like from any road so he's like half asleep in the back and we're like okay where do we go and he legit just opens his eyes and he's like straight turn this way then this way you know like he's not even properly awake and he knows where to go like I, I was just amazed by the people mostly and also the environment <laughs> I don't know if there was really a point in making this video but like I felt like I wanted to talk about it, one, because a lot of my videos are for, like, documentation purposes, so I, I don't want to, you know, my fear is to lose my memory, and I want to make sure that I have something to remind me of a certain time, because, you know, as you grow up, you kind of lose specifics of that memory. I really hope to God I did not miss anything out. All I can say is that at the end of the trip, my whole face, my whole body was dusty as fuck, and my throat hurt, because we were just like chain smoking because we came back on Sunday. I was dead for Sunday. I remember my mom calling me while I was on the couch and she's like, what's up? And I was just like, mom, I'm so sleepy. And she's like, dude, it's like 5 p.m. Why are you sleeping? And I was just like, I went camping. <laughs> but the video I suggest today is Skinny Soul and Troyan sings it. Um, she's from Pretty Little Liars. And I love this song. Like I, the first time I came to Perth, I downloaded that song and I, I loved it. Like it's, it is beautiful. And if you do go there, please mention that I brought you because it is a beautiful song and you guys will love it as much as I do. I swear. Okay. Um, I gotta go.